Now at 10, inundated by mud. Tonight, residents in the Inland Empire are digging out after flash floods send a wave of mud into their homes and businesses. Plus, the search for the gunman who opened fire inside Roscoe's killing rapper PNB Rock. Was social media to blame for the brazen robbery that turned into murder? And stocks plunge as inflation fears soar from the cost of housing to sticker shock at the grocery store. Higher prices are hitting consumers especially hard. What's next now on the News at 10? Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Cher Calvin. Digging out from a muddy mess, residents in the Inland Empire are assessing the damage after a storm sends a wall of mud into homes and businesses. Tonight, most evacuation orders have been lifted in the San Bernardino Mountains, but residents say it will be a long time before things return to normal. We have live team coverage on the storm and the damage left behind. Carlos Saucedo live in Yokaipa, where they are still digging out tonight. Carlos. Mike and Cher, it's a sea of mud out here. Some of the roads, as you take a look here, they're still closed at this hour. They are covered with much of this debris. Tonight, some of the homes without power, forcing residents to seek shelter elsewhere. The threat of mudslides might be over, but the muddy mess cleanup is just underway in the communities of Forest Falls and Oak Glen. It's just a sea of mud. My whole half of my property is just three or four feet of mud. Part of Brenda Ibrahim's property, including her barn, blown apart. Her two horses barely made it out. It was impossible to get them out. We finally had somebody. I had my neighbor, who's a veterinarian, who came. She came and she led one, and I led one, and then we had to bring them through this wash. So it was just amazing. But their poor legs are cut up, and they're. You know, I don't know how they survived, honestly. Some neighbors luckier than others. Wow, this is mud up, up to the windows. But are still reeling from the devastation. This is this is probably the worst we've had. I've, I've been up all night. I haven't had any sleep. Well, I kind of slept with one eye open, one eye closed. <laughs> um, and then I've been working in the mud all day. Remnants of Tropical Storm K caused torrential rains to wash out roads, swallow up cars, even prompting emergency crews to search collapsed homes and businesses, making sure people weren't trapped. We still have one uh, unconfirmed report of a uh, person still missing. We're still heavily involved in search and rescue efforts. This is what's left of Oakland Steakhouse and Saloon in Yukaipa. Most of the damage to the inside of the restaurant. Family of the owners have been assessing the situation, saying it could have been a lot worse. On a Sunday afternoon, especially with apple season in Oak Glen, there would have been 50 to 75 people that were in the, the restaurant along with 25 plus employees. So that's our blessing is that it did happen on a Monday and not a Sunday. While no one was injured, residents are now left to pick up the pieces. I don't, I don't know how we're going to recover from this. I don't know how anybody's going to recover from it. Now, most of the evacuation orders were lifted at 6 o'clock this evening. There are still a few in place. Officials plan on giving an update on the mess, the devastation, tomorrow morning. We're live in Yucaipa. Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News. A heart-stopping rescue in San Bernardino where officers rush in to save a mother and her two young children as flash flood waters rage through their neighborhood. Body camera footage shows the officers trying to grab onto one of the children who was being swept away by the fast-moving water. Police then created a human chain to a safely get the second child and the mother to safety. No one was injured in the rescue. Yeah, don't underestimate the power of moving water. Meteorologists